everyone welcome to another video uh, today we're going to be working on this starry ridge beanie it is made with the star stitch and yeah it's just super warm super cozy i hope you enjoy this tutorial all right let's get started okay so to make this beanie you're going to need a worsted weight medium four weight yarn I'm using loops and threads, uh, impeccable. You also need scissors. You'll need a needle to sew in your ends, a measuring tape to measure your band, and also to test your gauge, a five millimeter crochet hook. And then I'm also gonna be showing you how to make your pom-pom. So you'll need a five by five square of fur, you're also going to need some thread and a needle. Alright, so we're going to start by making the brim of the hat. So we're going to chain up 10. When you have your 10 chains, in the second chain from the hook, work one single crochet. You're going to work one single crochet in each of the chains all the way down. You're going to have nine single crochets once you're done. Chain one, turn your work, and in the back loop of your first single crochet there, you're going to be working one single crochet. So usually we work through the two loops, but we're only going to be working through one of the loops, and that's your back loop. So you're working one single crochet in the back loop all the way down to the end. Okay, so you're just going to repeat that all the way uh, to the end of your band. My band is going to be 63 rows. Here I'm just double counting my stitches, making sure that I have nine single crochets. Um, it's a good practice to do that, just to make sure that you're not going to have a wonky looking band. So again, I'm going to be doing 63 rows of this band. Uh, you do how many you need in order to reach 19 inches. Just make sure that you are working in a multiple of three.
Okay, so I finished up my band here and I'm just measuring it. I do have 19 inches. I've already measured off camera, but I'm just going to measure it again on camera just to show you. And this is without stretching my band. So you don't want to stretch your band. You want to make sure that it's laying flat and not being pulled on. So you should have 19 inches. Now we're going to join the ends of our band together. And we're going to do that by folding our band in half. I'm going to chain up one. Turn it. Oh, I'm way off camera here. Hopefully I get back in frame. <laughs> All right, so in the back loop of the first stitch on the front side of your band and on the back, back loop of the stitch on the back of your band, you're going to work a slip stitch. So just slip stitching in the back loop on both sides of your band all the way up. You should have nine slip stitches in total. Right, so moving on to our first round, start by chaining up one. And now in every row of your band, you're going to be working one half double crochet. So again, that's in every single row of your band, you're going to be working one half double crochet all the way around. So if you did 63 rows like I did, you should have 63 half double crochets by the end of the row. Right, round two, you're going to chain up one, and in the third loop of that half double crochet, so behind that V there, you see that on the top stitch you have the V, and then if you pull that forward, you have a little bump on the back, you're going to be working one single crochet. So again, there's that little bump on the back of the half double crochet behind the top of the stitch. And you're just going to work one single crochet all the way around. So if you did 63 half double crochets in the previous row, you're going to do 63 single crochets in the back loop on this round.
Okay, so I'm just coming up to the end of the round here, still working in the back loop of each stitch. Don't forget that last stitch there, sometimes it can be hard to see. A slip stitch to the top of that first single crochet to join. Okay, so now we're going to be starting our star stitch. So start by chaining up three. Yarn over, insert your hook into that second chain from your hook, draw up a loop, and then in the base, right where you had that chain three, draw up a loop. And then in the next stitch, draw up a loop. So what I'm doing there is I'm making sure that my stitches are all even by pulling it up. In the next one, draw up a loop. You're going to have six loops, and now you're going to draw through all six loops. And then you're going to chain to close that stitch. Alright, so now right through that little eye there, you're going to be working the next stitch. So you're drawing up a loop, and then into the legs of your star stitch, you're going to be working another loop. At the base, draw up a loop. In the next stitch, draw up a loop. And then in the next stitch, draw up a loop making sure that you're pulling that all the way up. Now you're going to draw through and chain to close. So again, in through that little eye there, it can be tricky if you pulled it too tight, so sometimes you can just pull it apart, insert, and then it'll be better for you. So that's two loops, right into those legs. That's three loops right into the base. That is four loops. That's five loops. And six loops. So you're just going to repeat that all the way around until you eat, reach the end of your round. All right, so I am just going to be working my last star stitch here. The last star stitch of this round.
And don't forget that last stitch. Sometimes it can confuse you and look like it's the slip stitch, but that's your last stitch there. All right, chaining one. And now I'm going to slip stitch to the top of that star stitch. So you're going to skip that chain three that you did. You're going to go right into that top. Right there. And slip stitch to join. And that's the end of that round. Right, moving on to round four, start by chaining up one, and in that first stitch where you did your slip stitch, work one half double crochet, and then one half double crochet in that little eye of the star, and then one half double crochet right at the top of that star stitch, and I'm just going to show you where that is. So you can kind of see it there. So you're going to be working a half double crochet in the top of the star stitch and then into the eye all the way around. And I will meet you at the end of this round. All right, so I'm just coming back to the end here and I'm going to slip stitch to the top of that first half double crochet that we did. And that concludes the round. All right, so round five, you're going to be working into the third loop of those half double crochets. So chain up one and then go into that third loop right in be behind your stitch there. One single crochet in each of those stitches all the way around for round number five. So I'm just coming up to the end of the round here, working in the third loop. Now I'm going to slip stitch to the top of that first single crochet. Okay, round number six is going to be the star stitch again. So you're going to begin by chaining up three. yarn over in that second chain from your hook insert your hook and draw up a loop and right where you did your slip stitch draw up a loop in the next stitch draw up a loop and in the next stitch draw up a loop remember you're going to have six loops on your hook yarn over and draw through all six loops. Now you're going to chain to close. So working in the eye of that star stitch, draw up a loop and then in the legs, draw up a loop 
And then in the base there, drop a loop, your next stitch, drop a loop, and the next stitch, drop a loop. Six on the hook, yarn over and draw through all six. So continue on all the way around and I will meet you at the end. All right, so I've made it all the way back around and now I am just finishing up my last star stitch here. Okay, so now you see that we are actually short one stitch. Don't panic. You don't wanna rip it all apart and redo it. Just yarn over and go into that last available stitch making sure that you have six loops on your hook and it's going to look absolutely fine. The star stitch is very forgiving for sure. All right, so just uh, slip stitch to the top of that first star stitch and there you go. So the thing about the star stitch is that it can leave a gap at the back of your work. So I'm going to show you how to sew that up when we're done the hat so that those gaps disappear. Okay, so now for rounds 7 through 12, I'm going to get you to repeat rows 4 through 6. So rows four through six was that half double crochet round that we're on. And then it's the single crochet in the third loop. And then it's the star stitch. So you're going to repeat those three rows twice. So you should have four star stitch rounds when we meet back here. Uh, your piece should measure about seven inches, including the brim. And that's for a nice fitted size beanie. All right, so you guys just carry on it and I will meet you back here. Okay, so I finished my rounds and now we're going to start decreasing. We're going to start by decreasing with half double crochets. So start by chaining up one, yarn over, and we're going to do a two double, do <laughs> two double crochet together over the next two stitches. And then we're going to be working a half double crochet in your next stitch. And the next stitch, and the next stitch. So that's three half double crochet. And now you're going to work two half double crochet together. So yarn over, insert your hook, insert your hook into the next, and then pull through all the loops. So you're going to repeat that 
two half double crochet together, three half double crochet all the way around, and I'll meet you at the end of this round. All right, so we've made it all the way back around and now I'm going to be working a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. Chain up one and then in the third loop, you're going to be working your single crochets again. So that's one single crochet in the third loop and two and then you're going to decrease. So you're going to insert your hook, draw up a loop, insert your hook into the next stitch, draw up a loop, and draw through those three loops. And you're going to repeat that. So two single crochets over the next two stitches, and then um, two single crochet together <laughs> over the next two stitches. So two single crochet, decrease, two single crochet, and then decrease. All right, repeat that all the way around and I will meet you back at the end of the round. Okay, so I'm just slip stitching to the first stitch there. And now we're going to be working another star stitch row. So just work your star stitch all the way around like you have in every other row. All right, so finish up your star stitches and I will meet you back at the end of this round. All right, so you can still see those awful, dreadful gaps. Don't worry, I'm going to teach you how to deal with those. Moving on to the next decrease round, chain up one, half double crochet, two together over the next two stitches, half double crochet in the next stitch, half double crochet in the next stitch, and then you're going to decrease again. So half double crochet two together over the next two stitches and then two half double crochet. Repeat that all the way around and I will meet you back at the end. So I'm just coming right back around, finishing up my half double crochets. And I'm going to slip stitch to the top of that first half double crochet there. And now we're going to decrease again. 
So start by chaining up one, and in the third loop, work one single crochet, and then work a single crochet two together over the next two stitches, and then single crochet, then single crochet two together. Repeat that all the way around. I will meet you at the end of this round. Right, so now we're just finishing up that last round. We have to decrease this round. So chain up one, and you're going to half double crochet two together all the way around. This will be your final and last row of decreases and last row of the hat. So again, that is half double crochet, two together all the way around. I'll meet you at the end of this round. Alright, so I'm just joining with a slip stitch. Now I'm going to be fastening off, so I'm just going to grab my scissors here. Leave a pretty long tail because we're going to be sewing up the holes in that hat. So leave it long enough that you can actually work down the side of the hat as well as closing off the top of your hat. All right, so now we need to get our yarn threaded through our needle and we can sew up the top. I'm just going to do that now and I'll be right back. All right, so now we're going to sew up the top of the hat. And how I like to do that is I like to come uh, through the loop there. Hopefully you can see I come through All right, so I'm coming through that loop, coming towards myself, and then I go back and then towards myself. I find that this gives it a really nice finish. When you do it this way, you can close your hat whichever way you like. I just like doing it this way. It makes for a very neat and tidy close. So I'm just weaving my thread through my stitches there working all the way around. Alright, so I just have a couple more stitches here. I'm going to go through, it's hard to do this through the camera lens. <laughs> I'm going to go through that stitch there. And then I just want to go through one more of the beginning stitches right through there. Again, it's hard to do that while you're looking through a camera lens. <laughs> All right, so now we're ready to close up the hat. We're just going to pull it tight. And voila, it's closed and it looks really good. All right, so you're going to just poke your needle through that little opening there. It's not too big. You can pull more when you have your hat turned inside out. So turn your hat inside out. Now I have to rethread my needle. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, so now I'm ready. 
We're just going to weave in the ends a little bit there. So I'm going to do that while I'm working my way down to where those gaps are on my, um, where we did the star stitches. So I'm just going through, weaving my way around. All right, so now I'm at my first star stitch. So I'm going to work through the legs the, of that star stitch and then right across to that first star stitch so that way it'll pull close so don't pull too tight you want to pull kind of gently and as you work you're going to want to pull your work very gently you don't want it to pucker or anything so i'm just working my way down the project kind of like zigzag or in an s formation just working through the stitches working my way down to the next star stitch so i'm going through very slowly. Take your time doing this. Make it look neat and tidy. All right. Here we go up to our next star stitch. And we're just going to work our needle through there and across and down over that gap. Now I'm going to work the opposite direction and that'll cause it to close All right, so now I'm just adjusting the yarn, making sure I don't have any puckering, and I'm coming up to that last star stitch round there. Oh, I'm really out of camera there, sorry. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, and now I'm just going to be weaving in my ends there. All right, so you can finish up weaving in your ends, and I will meet you back. All right, so now we're just flipping that hat right side out again. And now you're done. Just top with the pom-pom. Uh, if you need any help knowing how to make a pom-pom, um, I have a tutorial coming up on how to make your own faux fur pom-pom and how to attach it to the hat as well. But there you go. So that seam is looking really good. You can hardly tell where we sewed it up. It looks really good now. And here it is with the pom-pom on top. You're all done. Thanks so much for watching this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And please consider subscribing. I am going to be releasing weekly videos every Wednesday on this channel. Alright, thanks so much. We'll see you again. Bye!